so many yells i'm not going back to those days i'ma treat you how you treat me do you like how it tastes shawty use a use a can't treat you like my ace i got way too many problems to be worried i'm straight me and craig craig had to watch for the jakes on the road this road crazy i get 80 a show say my money stack it up and look like i'm like i'm like Foreign cars driving fast, I never done this before. Get, get drown out my problems, let me, let me. When I've been up is magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror now, feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality. The NFL on EA Sports brings us to <clears throat> North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in battles. Charlotte. Just a battles. few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Atlanta Falcons. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The shark kind of fucking slavery. <laughs> On first and ten, Newton. Oh. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. And that's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Out of the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Please, please, please. doesn't let it bounce he takes it at the two officially that'll be a 63 like yard punt. It up. well done and the falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory now ryan down around the goal line and that'll be knocked away it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wide out Julio Jones, his intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. The play fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Oh, oh. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. And they're set up in a golden position here right around the 10 yard line. Well, they were obviously backed up, had a little bit of space from the goal line, snapping it from the three, but still try to throw it. And yeah, exactly. If this is where hindsight is 2020 comes into play, right? Seems like a good idea to throw the ball there. Maybe you'll surprise them and catch them off guard. Instead, you've created a turnover and put your defense in a bad spot. On first down, this is oh, McCaffrey. Backfield, down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. A shot he got a snap for Newton. They'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. From 13 yards out, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. An 
This kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Depends on the level of your kicker. They have fucking stats too. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. It's just going to be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And down eight yards, first down Atlanta. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection. Maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, it's Freeman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Throwing now. Ryan on first down. <laughs> now that'll be tipped and intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kingley that picks it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. This interception will go on the record of the quarterback, but as a receiver, you've got to understand where you are in the field. Middle portion, you know it's going to come in hot. Square your body to the quarterback and be ready to make the catch. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. A solid run on. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. We got to get the ball. D, get the ball right here. Let's go. 49, check 49. Gun, gun. Newton now to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And it's third and short. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is Someone really is hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to have a first down. On first down, Newton gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll make it second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. 
A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick some. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Adrian Claiborne. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. A lot of facing third and long. From the gun, here's Newton. That's to McCaffrey, complete. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play there for the Panthers. 42 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. He's showing the different ways he can hit you in this first quarter. One rushing, one receiving touchdown. He's showing us he's not just a stereotype, isn't he? Not just a guy who carries the ball in the backfield, can get out into space, make plays with his hands downfield. That's a pretty good combination right there. Defensively, you'd prefer to be going against the stereotype, wouldn't you? <laughs> At least you know where he is, right. right? That gives you a chance to get more people to him and get him on the ground. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit too? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Ryan going to get to Freeman on the draw. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's back. He's got the lane, and there he goes. Touchdown, Falcons! <laughs> Russell Gage, 70 yards, as his guys are on the board here in this first place they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 13-7. So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Newton. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. Yeah. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what make plays after the catch and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. This is McCaffrey. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Second and ten 
at the Falcons. 30 yards. Right here, right here. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Who plays zombies? Looking to throw on second down. Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. In for the sack, Deion Jones. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. From the gun, Newton. And yeah, that will be incomplete. <laughs> Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. <laughs> and this will be blown dead right around the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, and their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it will help them at contract time. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. First down, Atlanta. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This is Freeman on first and 10. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 10 yards there and a first down for the Falcons. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. You want to? A fake to Freeman. Now it's loose. Shaq tops it, making his presence felt on the sack. Hindsight is 20 20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O line was whole, and the quarterback got sacked. After the sack on first down, Lyon, and he fires one incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target, and that'll make it third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. They go play action with Ryan. Got his man, that's the pro bowler, Julio Jones. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. And it's a 15-yard mm -hmm. pickup. But it'll lead to a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now <laughs> wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. The pistol, McCaffrey. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. 
He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. What? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Second and nine. Ryan, he's got Freeman here. It's complete. <laughs> and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devont on yards. As his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. <laughs> the now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Huh. And it's no good. He missed it. And the game remains tied. Oh, boy. All square now at 13 all as he sends this one away. This Carolina check, check, offense at the line, up. ready to go. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now, nowhere what? to escape, and he goes down. Adrian Claiborne picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Back to throw. Newton. Incomplete. A solid coverage on the play by Devondre Campbell. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Trying for right, and it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufon, and they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the... They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a toss <laughs> left side into the hands of his tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the shotgun, Ryan. And the tip there altered the ball for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find a completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. They run, Devontae Freeman. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. 
As usual, yeah. the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays yeah. near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was. At their own 27. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. <laughs> and mark him down all the way inside the Atlanta 20. A big play there on the catch and run. 56 yards. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Adrian Claiborne, the one who makes the stop. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. What do you think? Now a toss. This is McCaffrey. <laughs> and he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for the first. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading them, or it turns into something big. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Here's me. And he finds a man, it's Olsen. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for the Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Gano now to add the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. The Falcons take over first place at their own 25 yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Inside of a minute left in the half. Does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or I guess don't do on this final drive? It certainly yeah, does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leads Wait, him with a very manageable second and one. I don't know what the fuck is going on. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing again. And his pass is intercepted for the third time today. It's the Pro Bowler Luke Kinkley that picks it. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the problem. And he's going to go down. Best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. 
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Ryan. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some ball comes back to the guy throwing them. But it feels like he got it. From the 24, <laughs> Newton. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And it's no good. It has not been his day. That's the second extra point he's missed so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. I'm getting that. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that lead. From the gun, it's Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. And the Falcon first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Ryan gets it off to Freeman. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And that'll touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are back within a single score. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them.
So here comes the kickoff, and what now is just a one-score, six-point game. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Pushes him over. And he stopped immediately there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 29 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Ready to eat. Woo! Great, great, great. Throwing on second down. Newton, quick slant, caught by Moore. And he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Steps away to his left. Now he'll pull it down, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. On second down, McCaffrey. It's rough, it's rough. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Newton on third down. And that's knocked away and incomplete. It was Desmond Trufant right there, step for step in coverage. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And possession will switch hands first and 10. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold them to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. On second and nine, Ryan, and finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down. Leaves him at third and one. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Operating from the gun. Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. 
Oh, from eight right. yards you were out. And now right. they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin. They're next, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. From the gun on third down, Newton. Wright's got it. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And we're back now in Charlotte. And we've got a dandy here. One point game as we begin the fourth. No <laughs> Newton now. Five straight completion. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll run with McCaffrey. And some space here. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Newton now to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Tech McKinley made his way into the backfield. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Newton and Olsen here with a connection. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A gain there of 21 yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. On second and nine, Newton complete to right. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A good-looking drive so far for the... Now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Now Newton. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Deion Jones giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Here goes, so here they goes. get pushed Let's back right to here. Newton to throw. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. 
A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Brings up fourth and goal. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Now it's new. And he will take it across for Panthers touchdown. From a yard out, and the Panthers are going to jump back in front. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal, because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Fielded about a yard deep. Fucking and he'll be brought okay. down at the 23, make it the 24. Oh, They're about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. It's Ross Cockrell that time that made the tackle. You don't see that a ton, do you? A cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. The Falcons on third down. Two for five to this point. This time it's third and three. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. He lost two and it brings up four. Here's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Yes, thank you. I didn't know what to catch up. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. <laughs> What? And that is incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a f now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this is taken at the 23. That'll wind up being a 50-yard takeover. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, 
you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. That's caught over the middle. Hooper. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. Back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a gain of 16. First down, Falcons. Here's Ryan. Freeman, first down and more. He's got Freeman here. It's complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the red zone now, working here to the eight-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's Freeman. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but not, you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you've got a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Finds his man, the tight end also. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark. They'll look to throw, and he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. He's not gonna score. He's back to throw. He's gonna let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And he's gonna return it to the 21 yard line. I'm not kidding that.